Hey, it's just so Trish, and it's homeschool week number 13. And I gotta make a little bit of changes. I have to make some changes. So here we go. All right, so we are in week 13, which means we have one third of the quarter done. 13 weeks, 12 weeks done. And we are in English 101 for first grade. So my changes come about first grade. And I've talked a little bit about this and I was uncertain and I wasn't sure what to do. Well, I think I know what I'm going to do. So, like I said before, I really want the most minimal requirements of me when it comes to teaching first grade and kindergarten. I know we've talked about this. Some of y'all are like, oh, really? Really? But I do. I... um. I'm that mom. And it th I think it has a lot to do with having six kids, having three that are independent, and then having that one. And when the last year when I started, or when I was planning last year about this time, I was like, I don't want to teach learning to read through Christian light education. I've already just gone through it twice. And I'm like, well, I'll do something different. Well, we are slowly progressing but my experience with Christian light education, learning to read, is a lot different. And we're getting there, but I feel like I'm doing a lot of work to get there. So I have, so I'm doing this along with ACE's learning to read, you know, first grade curriculum. I'm also doing adventures in phonics along with it. So I'm kind of touching on those and I feel like it's a lot of work. No, let me restate that. It is a lot of work to do that. And I, the next part is like my comfort level. So this is completely doable. You could do it this way, but I feel like I, I like that straight path. This is what I need to do to get things done. Yeah. And I know that if I use Christian light education, learning to read, at the end of the year, we're in a middle middle of second grade. We like literally do a year and a half's worth of work to understand reading in the course of um, 22 weeks. I mean, 36 plus 18, 52 weeks worth of work and comprehension in 22 weeks. That's pretty big. And to know that I'd be halfway through and the reading would be so much better. So... I'm going to buy the stuff. Yeah, I've had the stuff. I've lent it out. I've sold some of it. I'm just going to buy what I need and just realize that, that this is how I do learning to read. And it's just, that's what it is. And it's over with and I can't give it away again. This is just what I need to do. I have the English. I have the um, social studies. I have the math and the science ACE. I don't care for the Bible because it's a lot of read and we just have had a hard time with the way the Bible's set up. So I'm keeping all those and I'm just setting them aside. So I just feel like if I get the curriculum, I have it, this is what we do and we're done. I'm on the fence on whether I'm probably going to pick up the English also only because it is, um, it kind of goes back and it reinforces some of the skills. So I'll do it that way. I do want to say I am on my bouncy ball. So we've been having a lot of talk about that on the Mama Gets Fit is using the bouncy ball to see, I've been doing good, I didn't move. But using the bouncy ball to make sure that I'm staying moving and keeping my lymphatic system pumping. So I'm trying to behave on that. And balancing and engaging my core. But yeah, so I am ordering that. Oh, I do want to say thank you guys so much for all of the um, support and encouragement for dealing with Bubba's handwriting. And it is, it's something like I'm going to give him the tools in order to do better and change his um, grip. And at the same time, we're going to accept the fact if it doesn't change, this is just what he found that worked. So we're going to use whatever comes along. I know that there's some stuff coming for us to try and we're going to give it a try and see what it does. 
Yeah, she's got to be in the show. So, oh, and so anyways, so that's kind of what we've got going on. I got to make that order. We will see. We have to make that order. Um, yeah, nothing like mid-year change-up. But as for everything else, we're pretty good. Um, we still love AC. AC has been a great fit for us this year. And everything that's gone on this year with losing the house, with having just, we got really sick in November. Um, and all the damage cleanup that we've had to deal with. It has actually served us really well. I am so thankful we picked ACE this year. Definitely so. Now there's times I want to tweak things, but I mean, that's with any curriculum. And I just have to outweigh, is the tweak worth it? You know, sometimes, like, there's been a few things I'm like, oh, you know, we could really start the science, this different science, this hands-on science. And I'm like, or we could just wait. Let's finish what we got this year. You know, it isn't really worth the tweak. So I have to keep that in mind. And it's been so good having just the predictability of AC. It definitely has really made me recalibrate how we homeschooled from this experience this year. I am so thankful. But, um, and being able to keep the kids to have a really good expectation on what's going on. But I don't know how much I love it for first grade or kindergarten. I think I love it probably second grade and up so far. So anyways, that's what's going on. I'm fixing to make an order. I did move the, um, I'll show you. I did rearrange. So over there was where my desk was sitting and I kept feeling, I kept feeling like we were tripping over stuff and we're still trying to figure out like our layout for being back in this house because we don't have the same stuff. And um, I'm hoping to get curtains soon. That'll be a big get, like, yeah. And I still have to paint the kitchen and I'm supposed to start that I think next week. Yeah. I have some video. I did take video of when we were working on the house. I might have to find it and edit, but I've been so tired. And I'll tell you what, I'm starting to feel the effects of my body crashing from the stress and turmoil and turbulence and sickness that we had all through fall. And for those that are new to my channel, um, we went to do some remodeling on our house and right when Hurricane Matthew came through, we had like six inches in a couple hours. Anyways, it flooded our house. And we had happened to like not be sleeping in the house because we're getting ready to do the remodel. And if we would have been sleeping in there, we probably all would have been electrocuted. You would have read about all of us on the news. Um, it was bad. And so I'm so thankful like God had already started making different provisions so we wouldn't have had to deal with that. But we lost everything. And so we've been slowly rebuilding ourselves and our, and we had the house, this house was up for sale and it fell through, I think by God's grace. And when we came in, we had been here for 12 years and we finally painted and put flooring in that we needed to do. And that was all November. And then Christmas just came and just the, fun but you know busyness of Christmas and I think like January came in and I'm like my body just crashed so I'm going to talk more about that like coming up probably wellness Wednesday of just my body crashing and really just like recovering but I'm glad we had ACE because homeschool's never been a problem this year where other times it would have been incomplete like should we put them back in school it wasn't it was easy so anyways I gotta make an order we gotta we gotta get this taken care of. I'll talk to you later. Peace out.